Welcome back guys, today we are going to build this gigantic opus charging table. We will start with designing the board itself and see if we can get everything laid out on paper. And for those who see I did it a little bit wrong but hey that's the life. For me I have had this idea for quite some time now so it's nothing new really. Getting some piece of board to cut up using 20 millimeters uh, sheet. The mounts itself was something that I had to go through several different types before I set for this one. It's just an angle bracket of some kind you could say. Some more measurements to get it right and I have to try this several times before I actually got it right. Uh, one millimeter is plain steel, so nothing fancy here. Marking it out where I am going to bend as well to make sure that it have, do work as I intended it to work. Just flattening them up out a bit a little bit. And now it's time for bending them, the top and the bottom. Here you can see how they fit, pretty neat. And I needed roughly 10 of them. Now it's time to cut a sleeve in the middle. And the reason for that you will see in short and that's because I want to bend it all over again because now it will only take one of the sides but I need to grab two charges at the same time and that's what I do now bend the ends back and hammering them down again repetitive work but that's how it is bunch of holes to be able to screw them in place This bottom piece is just to make sure that the charges won't be able to slide down when they are mounted. If you hang this on the wall you don't want it to move and the holders will only hold them to the surface and not actually up and down. First one goes in, measuring where it actually is going to sit. Making sure that the battery actually will fit when the holder is there. And there is plenty of room. Time for next one. Now you also see how it fits together. And some of them I do have to bend a little bit just to make sure that they do fit as I want. Gluing on to the next stick that I is going to hold the next type of charges and they are in place as well. The cable on this first row is just using the original cables that I sleeve up between. It's nothing really fancy. But it works. Uh, but I would rather use the second type that I did afterwards. Yeah. 
And here you see the PSU as well. 30 amp, 12 volts, and it is with a fan. Uh, this one is actually tested at this I know it will work to deliver 30 amp. That's really important because some of them you buy from eBay will not be able to work with it. Quite tricky to get the sleeve up when there are so many cables inside. And then you just push on the heat shrink, both ends, because otherwise the sleeve will come up and go loose again. Heating the shrink into place. And I'm at actually attaching those terminals there instead because it's a little bit easier to get them in place and I make sure to solder them as well just to make sure that they don't come loose afterwards. I did crimp them as well. More heat drinks on that. Marking which one is which with coloring black and red. And this is the top side, I did this a little bit different and I think this is a better approach when you are having the charger at this close. I'm basically using two and a half square millimeter copper wire uh, in between of course heat shrinks. It's a pretty simple approach and uh, the soldering when that's done I add some hot glue on that just to make sure that they are covered uh, the front is now time to actually get the PSU mounted making sure that I know where to drill there will become a uh, there will come a t quick tip about this how you do it Touching the cables to the PCU. I should have had a little bit longer cables because this was tight, very very tight. Making sure that the sleeves or the cables are solid, they don't move around. And here you can see the hot glue as well. I did remove it afterwards and did the other side of course. It's now time for the plexiglass. Uh, to be able to draw on it I just made sure that I had some tape. When cutting this make sure you have a very very sharp uh, saw blade. And they should be fine teeth but I didn't have that so I actually used one for wood instead. But it worked out really really great. And it fits. That's perfectly fine. I will definitely be using more plexiglass in the future because that was rather fun and I, I liked the result even though this was my first time doing it. Bending it, make sure you heat it till it actually starts to bend itself. It takes a couple of times. You will see when it actually starts to go down there a lot faster. So I, I kept heating it a little bit more. Make sure you have soft, clean edges, because that will make the result a lot better. Same procedure again, heating a lot. If you stay too long on the same spot, you will cause the acrylic to actually uh, bubble inside, so beware of that. Heat a little bit everywhere. The same again, I'm using something to hold it in place while it is actually getting cold again, and then you have it. I'm very, very happy with the result. Even though it's a little bit dirty on the image here or on the video.
something to hold the plexiglass in place. It's time to hook up the cables as well. This is the meter for the project so I can see how many kilowatt hours I have put into the batteries and used from the grid. The back side I did the same thing, uh, attaching a contact for hooking everything up. In normal cases I use aluminium for this but uh, I thought that I want to try the plexiglass. You can see what's going on inside as well. The only thing missing on this setup is the actual uh, on off button, but I will add that later on. I didn't have anything, anyone in store. So guys, here you have the completed unit. 10 Opus chargers, a 30 amp 12 volt uh, PSU, monitoring or metering display and a contact there. What's missing here is just the on off switch that will be integrated in this part here, but I didn't have that home. So let's fire this up. You can see that it starts to charge and this meter works as well. It's the first time I actually bended uh, plexiglass or PVC or whatever you want to call this and it worked pretty well. I'm pretty happy with it. So if you have any questions regarding this project when it comes to measurements or products used or whatever, just ask them below. There will be a link to my webpage as well that will quickly show you the links to the Opus charger, to the meter, to the PSU to the contacts and everything and hopefully you liked this video and if so give me a big thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do that as well thank you and bye thank you guys for watching another one of my exciting episodes don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel meanwhile also check out my other exciting videos and if you want to support my work you can find links to both patreon and paypal below by becoming a Patreon supporter you help me a lot and you also gain access to some extra material. 